Hey guys, welcome back. It's Friday, so it's time for a new video. Today's video is super, super exciting because I'll be showing you guys how to take makeup photos for Instagram. A lot of you have been asking me how I take my makeup portraits and photos on Instagram, so I thought today would be a great day to share with you my tips and tricks on how to make your photos pop and how to make your makeup photos really stand out. I've also partnered up with Benefit Cosmetics, one of my favorite brands, to bring you this video on how to take Instagram photos and makeup portraits. So be sure to watch the entire video for a little surprise. Are you you guys ready? Let's get started. All right, before we get into taking photos, we need to talk about makeup. Concealer is going to be your best friend. Well, at least for me it is. Here I'm using the new Benefit Boinging Hydrating Concealer in number two underneath the eyes first to avoid creasing. For those of you who've used the Fake Up Concealer, it's the same hydrating formula, but with the new repackaged concealer stick, it's infused with vitamin E and apple seed extract that helps smooth fine lines and leaves a natural looking finish. If you want to look airbrushed and photo ready for your IG photos, this Boinging Airbrush Concealer is one of my favorites. Definitely more coverage but gives that smooth, flawless, and perfect finish in photos. Tip! Use patting motions when applying and then smooth it out. Your eyebrows also play a huge role in photos. A great tip I do is go a little bit darker than I normally would. Here I'm using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil to fill in any gaps. The consistency is amazing and you can make hair-like strokes which gives it a more natural look and it also has a brush on the other end which is super handy. On my makeup photos, I love using a little illuminating powder on the tops of the cheekbones so the camera picks up that highlight and gives your face that extra bit of glow. A huge makeup tip for when you're wearing lashes is to make sure you go over the lash line with a black liquid liner so the band doesn't show. Trust me, this is a big one. And lastly, to make sure my makeup doesn't move while I'm taking photos, I always set it with a matte finishing spray. Now let's get into gear. For my photos, I use my Canon DSLR 80D and I always have it set to autofocus. I also use a two second timer and take all my makeup portraits myself. Now here's a great tip if you want movement in your photos. Use a fan. You'll notice in my Insta feed, hair is moving quite often so it makes the photo look more alive. Now find your angle. A photographer once told me, stick your neck out and put your chin down. A strange one I find that really works is not smiling with your mouth, but smiling with your eyes. It does take some practice, but it makes your photos look incredibly beautiful. Now don't be afraid to use your hands and fingers. There can be a lot of white space around you when you're taking photos, so just gently resting them on the face can add so much to a portrait. And last but not least, if you plan on doing lots of eye makeup photos, angle the face to your best side, look down, but don't close your eyes. Now because this video is all about taking photos for Instagram, I thought I'd host another huge giveaway for you guys. This giveaway includes all four Benefit Boinging concealers, a vanity mirror, a phone ring light, and a selfie stick. To enter, all you guys have to do is three simple things. Number one, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, Two Tips. Number two, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and find the giveaway photos. Number three, comment below with which giveaway item you want the most. And all the details will be in the description box below. So if you're a newbie at taking photos, I hope this video helped you in getting some tips and tricks on how to up your Instagram game. And remember, have fun with it, make sure your Instagram feed represents you, and don't worry about being perfect because there is perfection in imperfection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure you give it a thumbs up, and I hope you subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now!